Dear friends and comrades, this global pandemic should not be exploited by authoritarian governments as an opportunity to round up political dissidents. I thus join all those throughout the world who are now speaking out against the recent wave of arrest and detentions in India and the use of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act to justify charges against opponents of Narendra Modi's regime. I understand that three student leaders, Uman Khalid, Safura Zagar, and Mehran Haider, were arrested on charges of conspiracy to incite riots during Donald Trump's visit to India in February of this year. While it is clear that Muslims were the victims of the mob violence, police chose to arrest Muslim youth, especially student activists. Over 50 Muslim youths from the violence-affected areas have already been picked up. It is widely known that the anti-Muslim violence took place in the immediate aftermath of incendiary speeches against Muslims by legislators from Modi's BJP. They, not the students, are the ones who instigated the violence. At least 53 people died and several lost their homes. That these perpetrators of organized attacks on Muslims have not been brought to justice, while the same incident is being used as a pretext for targeting progressive political activists, demonstrates that the judicial and incarceration system serves political ends and not a just legal order. Well-known scholars, journalists, and organizers have been arrested, including Dr. Anand Tatumde and Gautam Nablaka, who were picked up on Dr. Bira Ambakar's birthday. Moreover, the UAPA has been used against Mazrat Zara, Pirzada Ashik, and Gohar Gelan who are acclaimed journalists in Kashmir. Their work has appeared in both Indian and international media. Peasant and worker organizers, for example, Akhil Gogoi, Abulak Singh, and others have been recently targeted by these repressive laws. These arrests in India have taken place during the global emergency occasioned by COVID-19 a time when officials throughout the world have attempted to reduce the United States and other countries have been calling for the abolition of prisons and have been engaged in campaigns against the structural racism that feeds the prison system. This current COVID-19 crisis is teaching already that jails and prisons and immigrants are not released from prison, there will be catastrophic consequences. The coronavirus crisis is a crisis occasioned by powerful nation states intensify their racism, xenophobia, and other working class strategies, both within and beyond their borders. We should recognize that now is the time to unite across national borders. Authoritarian regimes which unite to protect the interests of a tiny global elite are learning from each other. This can only be pushed back by international solidarity. We need on the ground international solidarity and a global support system activists because their actions remind us that together we can all forge a more just future.